coming to my stars. I hope everyone is doing well, staying home, staying safe, staying clean. So today we're going to be giving a bit, a little bit of our, it's a project I like to do in my free time. I enjoy scrapbooking, I enjoy decorating, so this is definitely one of those things that falls into that category. First, what we're going to need is the plain surface. So you could use a composition book, you could use a binder, you could use a plain piece of paper and slide it inside your binder. Anything works really, just it has to be like a plain surface. You need some newspapers, some magazines, things like that. I'm sure ads, whatever has pictures, letters that you can cut out of. And then next you're going to need some tape. So it preferably this larger tape would be better because it's easier to like laminate this yourself. You could use a scanner tape, you just might need more of it and it might be a little bit more difficult. Scissors. So we're going to need some scissors. Make sure we're very careful with them. You could use a glue stick to make sure you hold everything down, but if you don't have one, it's completely okay as long as you just have your picture where you want them and then we're going to tape it at the end. And I will show you how to do that later. First, I'm going to get to cutting. So now that I cut everything out, I have a pile of things that I love, things that interest me. So one of those things being watermelon. I love stuff like that. I also really, really love colored pencils. I love art. I think I even cut out a sign here that says something about art. Cutting out words is really, really cool. I have one here that says sunrise. And this is maybe a picture of me. This is me and my cousin. So I have some Polaroids. I have some little pictures here. Those are really fun to throw in. And yeah, I'm going to get to collaging. Tip that I definitely have is if you have something with like a border such as this, maybe lining it up at a border. So I have this one. I might use that a little later. So everything with borders, maybe putting them at a border. So this one maybe could go right here. And then I could stick this underneath. And then let's see. I have this carpet here. So maybe I can have a carpet at the edge here. Maybe stick something like this in here. Put the glasses. Maybe even on here would be kind of cute. A watermelon and tucked inside of here wouldn't be such a bad idea. And then where could I put this M then guy? Hmm. Maybe coming out of the carpet would be fun. So then we're going to get this and be very, very, very careful. You're going to start at the very, very top. You could leave a little bit hanging over, and then what you're gonna do is hold it down and then come down. You could do this with skinnier tape too, the thinner one, um, or this one works perfectly. And then you're going to go ahead and just, so then you're gonna push it down so that it's stuck. That's why I use, I did come in with a glue stick because it does make it a little bit easier to hold the pictures down to do this. So then you're just gonna fold it over again with this. We're gonna start at the top where I left off. Hold it down. You're gonna pull it all the way up. There we go. Preferably have a parent do this. I would recommend that. Hopefully they can help you. Parent or guardian. And then just keep doing this all the way to the end. It 
also gives it like this shiny texture that I like. I'm gonna start at the very end again, come all the way down. We can try to like flatten it as best as possible. Sometimes you get a little bit of like air underneath. That's okay though. It adds a little bit of dimension, 3D, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Oh no, my tape got stuck. Come back up a bit. The last piece, I'm going to hang it over, fold it, come down. Okay, so now it comes on over. After all of that, you should have your finished product. And this is mine. I like the shiny effect that the tape gives it. It's fun, colorful, flowery. That's mine. It's definitely represents me. So stuff like that. I hope you were able to enjoy it to cut out some things that you really like and I'll be coming to you soon with some more videos of different activities that we can do here at home until we're able to see each other again in person. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay clean, stay home as much as you can and have fun. Keep learning, keep exercising your brain with creativity and I will be seeing you soon. Bye!